Welcome to Toxchem's version 4.0, tutorial 3, introduction to sensitivity analysis and the back solving tool. To enter the sensitivity analysis window, we click analysis on the taskbar and select sensitivity analysis from the drop down menu. Once in the sensitivity analysis window, we select chloroform from the list of contaminants. In the drop down list for processes, we choose AS diffused. In the parameters list, we select process air flow rate. And finally, we will choose the overall system to view the effect at. In the range settings, we will increase the high value of the air flow rate to 50,000. In order to obtain a sufficient number of assessment points, we will set the number of steps to 10. To the right of the values we just entered is the choice of a linear or logarithmic distribution. In some cases, the data may be spread over several orders of magnitude, and a logarithmic distribution may be more appropriate. Once the desired information has been entered, click the Run Analysis button. When the graphs have been generated, we can use the buttons on the left to change the scale of the graph. First, click the Decrease Scale button to zoom to the bottom of the graph. Clicking the Increase Scale button reverses this. Alternatively, we can click the Reset Scale button to bring us back to where we started. We can toggle the legend on and off to create a larger space for the graph by clicking the Graph Legend button. The last button copies the graph to the clipboard for use in other programs. If we would like the data in terms of mass, we simply click the Mass Loading Graph tab where the same scale, legend, and copy buttons exist. We can also view the tables which the graphs are based on by clicking on either of the Table tabs. In these tabs, there are Export Data buttons, which allow you to take the data and export the tables as Excel files. Click the Export Data button, and we will name our file Sensitivity Analysis. We then click Save. Once the table has been generated, Microsoft Excel launches with our newly created Sensitivity Analysis file. Seen here is the table tallying where the chloroform is going by percentage over various values of air flow rate. The final tab is simply the mass version of the table we just exported. This completes our walkthrough example of the sensitivity analysis feature in Toxchem 4.0. We are now going to demonstrate the use of the back solver in Toxchem 4. We click Model on the taskbar and select Back Solver from the drop down menu. Once the back solver window appears, we must create scenarios. We will call the first scenario Methanol CTSC. Next, we select methanol from the list of contaminants and total sludge concentration as our target variable. The process we would like to back solve is the secondary clarifier. In this example, we want to solve to 0.02 milligrams per liter. To create a new scenario, click the plus sign and a copy of the previous scenario appears. Note that all the options can be edited separately of the original. We will call the second scenario benzene, M-A-E-R-A-S. The contaminant we select from the list is benzene. Next, select the mass air emission rate as our target variable. And the activated sludge diffuse duration as the process of interest. In this case, we are going to solve to 1 gram per day. Click the plus sign once more to create our third and final scenario, which will be called Chloroform TSDW BF. Clearly, we will choose Chloroform from the list of contaminants. Next, we select Total Sludge Dry Weight as our target variable, and the Belt Filter Press as our process to solve. In this scenario, we will solve to 0.5 milligrams of chloroform per kilogram of sludge. Now we can run the selected scenario, or we can click Run All Scenarios, which automatically runs all the scenarios you have created. Once the back solver has solved all of our scenarios, a tab for each scenario appears with the corresponding name on it. Under each tab, the contaminant name and wastewater influent value are given. Additionally, there is a button which takes the solution and inputs it into the influent object. We will set the chloroform scenario's solution into our influent and click Yes to accept the changes. Once in the layout screen, we click the Calculate button and click OK once complete. Then, 
To check on the influent value, we right-click on the belt filter press and select View Results from the pop-up menu. Under the Effluent Sludge tab, we find the contaminant loading for chloroform to be 0.502676 milligrams of chlorine per kilogram of sludge. This is the value we told the back solver to calculate to, accurate to 0.01%. This completes our walkthrough example of the back solver feature in ToxChem 4.0. Thank you for watching this ToxChem tutorial. If you are interested in our other software products, such as GPSX for wastewater modeling and simulation, CaptetWorks for preliminary design and costing, or WattPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com.